In a firestorm of interviews and social media posts, members of Congress sound the alarm about a top-secret four-page top-secret memo which characterizes just how deep the corruption under the Barack Hussein Obama administration went. This is what Make America Great Again is all about. SH hash T is about to hit the fan, and it's starting to look like the left-wing messiah that is former President Barack Hussein Obama will be exposed for the anti-American garbage he was all along. Congressman Matt Geetz later told Sean Hannity in an interview that his feeling is people will go to jail over the blatant misuse of power and corruption which ran rapidly during the Obama administration. Via Syracuse.com, underscore worse than Watergate, Republicans demand fees of memo amid surveillance abuse claims underscore, underscore some Republicans are demanding the release of a FISA memo after Fox News host Sean Hannity described allegations of government surveillance abuse as worse than Watergate. Underscore, underscore Representative Mark Meadows, R. North Carolina, and Representative Steve King, R. Iowa said on Twitter they've seen a classified report written by the House Intelligence Committee about alleged Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act abuses related to the FBI and accusations that President Donald Trump's campaign colluded with Russian officials. Underscore, underscore what I saw is absolutely shocking, Meadows tweeted late Thursday night. This report needs to be released now. Americans deserve the truth. Underscore, underscore the sickening reality has set in. King wrote. I no longer hold out hope there is an innocent explanation for the information the public has seen. I have long said it is worse than Watergate. Underscore, underscore hours earlier, Hannity opened his Fox News Channel show with a call for special counsel Robert Mueller to end his witch hunt. He claimed the four-page memo included text messages from FBI agent Peter Strzok, who was part of the investigation into Hillary Clinton's use of a private server, that suggests the so-called Steele dossier was the pretext for fees of warrants. Underscore, underscore our sources are telling us that the abuse of power is far bigger than Watergate, Hannity said on his TV show Thursday. Remember, Watergate was a third-rate break-in. What we're talking about tonight is the systematic abuse of power, the weaponizing of those powerful tools of intelligence and the shredding of our Fourth Amendment constitutional rights. Underscore, underscore the Hill reports Hannity and other Trump supporters have repeatedly accused President Barack Obama's administration of using FISA warrants to spy on the Trump transition team and the Trump campaign in support of Clinton, a Democratic presidential candidate. Former members of the Obama administration have vehemently denied the allegations. Underscore, underscore this is far worse than Watergate, the Hannity host argued. This is an abuse of surveillance and intelligence to win an election. It is a massive abuse of power, and it was all done by just a few people who think and thought they knew better than you about who should be the President of the United States. It is the biggest national scandal by far in our lifetime. Underscore, underscore the special counsel, Robert Mueller, and his band of Democratic witch hunters underscore never should underscore have been appointed and they need to be disbanded immediately. Underscore, underscore according to CBS, Representative Adam Schiff, D. California, has called the memo misleading and inaccurate. He said the House Intelligence Committee voted Thursday along party lines to grant House members access to a profoundly misleading set of talking points drafted by Republican staff attacking the FBI and its handling of the investigation. Underscore, underscore CBS reports the Senate voted 65-34 on Thursday to reauthorize the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act sending the bill to President Trump's desk. Underscore underscore and he later confirmed that he expects the memo to be released soon. Underscore, although we don't know as of yet what is contained in the actual memo we can safely surmise that it has something to do with the way the CIA and Dodge spied on American citizens and then Republican candidate Donald Trump on our own soil. And from the chatter we've been hearing, we can also say it has something to do with the now fully discredited Trump dossier and the method in which it was acquired. Along with who were the people responsible for it to begin with. But at this point, it's all speculation since no congressman can give us much more than just a hint about its contents without getting into trouble for releasing top secret information.
This is what happens when the American people are con into electing a person with a highly questionable past. A man who has gone by different names, and who has had his entire college transcripts and even his birth certificate sealed should have never become President of the United States of America. We don't know and probably will never know for sure who he was or where he was from. All we see is the corruption his presidency brought to our proud nation. Please share if you want to see the FISA document released to the public. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily.